The evidence is really robust. I think the evidence is really clear about what we need to do to tackle alcohol. I think we're several decades behind where tobacco was. I think we've got an opportunity to really make some you know, strides in this area and protect populations, and I'm not just meaning populations who require addiction um, treatment. I'm talking about the wider population and the children who are growing up in families where people are drinking to excess. I think the evidence that's coming out from Scotland, you know, I know Syrian referred to it um, earlier on in the session, you know, is, is, is good. You know, that 3.5% reduction in off-trade sales per adult, 7% sustained reduction in household consumption, reductions in household expenditure, volume of pure alcohol sold the lowest level in 26 years, and in comparison in England, we're going in the opposite direction where we're seeing consumption rise. So, you know, for me, I think minimum unit price is not a silver bullet. We need all of those things. We need the alcohol duty that was also referred to. We need minimum unit price. We need restrictions on marketing. We certainly need to protect children from exposure to alcohol marketing. It is not good that our 10-year-olds are able to name alcohol brands because they're plastered over the front of their fo favourite football team. It, it isn't good enough, and I think that we really could take some robust action in that space. And then thinking about availability, we have far too much available alcohol. When I was growing up, I remember you had to have you had to go down a special aisle in the supermarket to be able to access your alcohol, and you weren't allowed if you were under 18. Nowadays, it's on the end of the aisle that's selling the resources that they'll go back to school for kids, so they're selling it alongside, you know, the return to school. There's so much more we can do in that space. You know, and I think that the, for, for me, just to add, I'm, I'm really concerned about no and low alcohol and advertising in that space as well, because if you look at those alcohol adverts, all it's doing is product placement. It's, it looks like it's beer, it looks exactly the same as beer, and what it's saying to people is it's normal to drink beer, and actually if you look at the advertising for that, there's one with a pregnant woman drinking a bottle of beer and a guy driving a car. There are circumstances when people should not be driving or, or drinking at all, and actually they're using that as product placement. I think that this is a space that we have to get into, and I guess that is why an independent review on this I think would be really really important. Well, thank you. That's very uh, passionate. I've got more questions, but I'm going to go back to Mr. Carden. With, uh, well, well just to return.